Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another Stitch Fix unboxing to unbox for you guys. That was too many of the word unboxing. Um, if you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it is a clothing subscription. And for a $20 styling fee, you're going to get shipped five different pieces of clothing. So that could be shoes, it could be pants, shirts, accessories, jewelry, all sorts of things. And your stylist is going to try to like create outfits for you. So when you sign up, you do fill out like a little sizing profile that asks you different sizes for different pieces of clothing. Um, it asks you your preferences. So do you prefer skinny jeans or wide leg jeans? You know, what types of tops do you like? Different things like that. And then whenever you schedule your fix, your stylist will go ahead and email some pieces to you. So they're gonna email you like 10-ish different pieces. And from those, you can pick like, yes, put this one in my box. No, I don't want that for X, Y, Z reasons. And then your stylist will ship them to you. And when they come, it does come like this in a box. And you're gonna get three days to kind of try on, decide what you like, and then send back the things you don't. Now, if you need more than three days, which I needed more than three days this time around, you can go ahead and request it. I think you can extend it an extra couple of days. Um, and so that's nice. But basically, whatever you don't want, you're going to put into the pre-packaged shipping container, shipping label, whatever you want to call it, and give it back to your postman. So it's pretty nifty. The $20 styling fee does get credited off of an item that you purchase. You can schedule your fixes as often as you want, like every two weeks or as infrequently as you like. I get about once a month. There also is the option to sign up for their style pass, which is $50 a year. So you get unlimited stylings. I, you don't have to pay the $20 every time. You just pay $50 once. So it kind of works out to your benefit. You only get $50 credit. So I don't get credit every single box. Whereas if you pay your $20 styling fee every box, you do get that credited off of an item that you purchase. So it just depends. If you'd like to try Stitch Fix, I will put my referral link down below. Um, I believe you get your first styling fee waived and you get it credited off an item. So it's like a, basically a free $20, which is nice. Um, so with that, let's dive in. While I open this up, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. It means the world to me. If you like this one, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of me, feel free to hit subscribe. We do have some fall decor on my wine shelf behind me. And so when you open your box, it does look like this. So you're gonna get a couple different staples in here, right? You're gonna get your priority mailer. This is how you're gonna send all of your items back. My shipping label is already on the back of this. I say it in every video, I have sent full boxes back um, and I've never had a problem with them fitting in this bag. So that's that. The next couple of things you're gonna get are in this white envelope here. So you're gonna get two pieces of paper, a green one and a white one. The white piece of paper contains a note from your stylist about the items that are in your fix, plus the different ways that you can style the items you've received. What's kind of cool is from time to time, she will throw on one of these a piece that I got in a different box. So it's kind of like, here's your current wardrobe, here's the things I sent you, you can tie them together, which I think is really awesome. With your fix, you do have the option to add some notes. So if you're looking for like fall attire or you've got a wedding coming up, you can put notes like that in there and your stylist will try to send you pieces like that way. I don't often put notes. I like my stylist, her name's Chelsea. I think she does a great job and she makes me wanna buy everything in the box. So I just kind of let her do what, whatever she wants um, and it works out. But from time to time I have put a note in there. And then the green piece is going to be all the items you've got in your box, their sizing information and pricing. So for this box, everything together today would be 262 Buy all five discount. So if you do buy all of the items in your box, you get an additional 25% off your box. So my total after the buy five discount is going to be $196.50. So like I said, I don't get a styling fee on these boxes because I paid for the yearly subscription and I've already used up my $50, so that is that. And then you are gonna get your bundle. 
So this is probably the most unsatisfactory bundle I've looked at in a while. Some of them are really tall, some have very colorful. This one's just kind of dull and boring, but that's okay. I like neutral items. And I also got a box, which is a jewelry piece. So I'm gonna put this on the floor and we'll probably start with the jewelry piece, but let me rip this open. Oh. All right, so the jewelry. This is by, I think it's Kevia, and it's the Shiana necklace set in silver, and this is $40. So it comes in the box. These are cute. Okay, so it's got a bunch of different little necklaces. So top guy has a little tiny charm. This one has, it looks like it's probably jade or something similar. And then my, probably my favorite is this last one here. I'm not gonna take them out and try them on. Personally, I don't buy jewelry from other boxes because I get so many other jewelry boxes and I get rocks box and things like that. I just don't need to buy this. Um, they are really cute though. They would be super cute all like layered together and everything. Very cute. However, I will be sending this one back, but that's just personal preference. All right, first, piece of clothing is by oh it's called intimately by free people and it's the Haley racerback Brahmi in the color olive I got a size small depending on the tightness I tend to fluctuate between a small and a medium I'm if it's really tight I'll wear a medium um, which it looks like this is very tight and this is $28 so it's just your regular old olive kind of racer back cami and it is very stretchy. So I just have a feeling that this is going to be like super cropped on me and I'm still not super open to crop tops, but I like the color of this and I like the feeling. I like how stretchy it is. It's very spandexy versus like a cotton, a cotton tank top. All right, next is a sweater. I love sweater season. The sweater I have on today is from H&M and it's like my, my summer fall sweater when it's kind of like still could be warm, might be cold. It has like huge holes in it, so you don't overheat. All right, this is by Design History and it's the Disha High Low Tunic Sweater in the color Mustard. And it's a size small. I would disagree that this is mustard. It's more of like a brownie orange, but it's very cute, very soft. It has, that's what the sleeves look like. Perfect for cuffing. Here is the back and the hemline. So it's just your traditional sweater. Super. Another sweater. This is by 41 Hawthorne and it's the Dorian patterned jacquard crew neck sweater in the color gray. Also a size small. This is a heavyweight sweater. Oh, does it? Oh, it must have just been folded. Wrong. I thought it had like a pocket in the middle, but it doesn't. So it's very soft. Again, that's what the cuff looks like. This is like your traditional hits you right at waist level type sweater, where it has the orange one, brown one, mustard, whatever your color you think it is. Um, that one is gonna probably fall a little bit below the waist, maybe like mid thigh ish. We'll see. Um, but this is a heavy weight. It's like a thicker material than the other one is. I really like this. And 
I think I don't actually have a black sweater. All right, last but not least, a pair of jeans. And these are by STS Blue. They're the Paisley High Rise Ankle Straight Jean with a frayed hem. These are in the shade Indigo and they're a size two. I normally wear a size two or 26, 27, depending on the tightness of the pants. And I actually do need some more jeans. Uh, I feel like I constantly am wearing like the same two pairs of jeans and I blew a hole in the crotch of another pair. So that was really depressing. Um, so these are kind of like very slim up top, but then the, the pant like does widen out to become, I would say more, more straight leg. It's not a flare or what do you call it? Like boot, boot cut. And then it does have some distressing on the hem. And here is what the back looks like. Super cute. I actually really appreciate that it doesn't have any holes like in the knee area. I, I don't know like why, but I'm starting to get away from like the holes in jeans. I have a pair that I actually really like that have holes in them, but like my jean shorts, I put on a pair of jean shorts the other day and they had like distressing and holes in them and I just felt really not not well put together wearing them so i took them off um okay i can't remember i said that these were 60. i don't think i said the pricing because i was reading it off the tag i normally read it off the page the jeans the denim those are 68 dollars the uh, heavy weight um gray sweater is 58 dollars the mustard colored lighter tunic sweater that is $68 the tank top is $28 and that necklace set that I put back here is $40 so we're gonna move on to the try on portion of this video okay first I have on that um, design history Disha high low tunic sweater in the color mustard and I have on those jeans. So these were the STS Blue Paisley High Rise Ankle Foray Hem in the color Indigo. I would probably tuck this shirt into my pants, which I'll do at the end. But first feelings about the, the sweater is I was right. It, it, I mean, it doesn't hit mid thigh, but it does come down longer than like your waist. It's very soft. And I just like that it's very plain. It has like a traditional neckline. Um, there's not much going on as far as like decoration goes. And I mean, my wall is brown and I'm standing in front of it. It's more of a brown rather than like a mustardy yellow color. The pants fit really well in like the waist. They are high rise, so they go up by my belly button. They have a comfortable stretch. So when I put them on, I'm not like extremely tight in them. I don't know how I personally feel about the width of the ankle. I'm more of like a straight leg or skinny jean type person. I just feel like wider bell bottoms make me look shorter. But this is what the back looks like. I'm gonna try to hold my ankle up so you can see the hem. It does fray and it is wider. So it's more of like, I guess it looks straight leg on, but I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about the pants. And then I would probably, if I wore it, tuck this in a little bit. Looks kind of more strange, but yeah, so I like these. I don't know how I feel about these pants. I am gonna keep these pants on just to try on all the other tops that I have on. It seems the simplest. So, all right, back to being like waist up. I now have on the 41 Hawthorne Dorian patterned Jeff or something sweater in the color gray for $58. I left on those pants. 
I actually really liked this sweater when I was holding it up, but now that I have it on, I don't like it. I feel like I see why I don't already have a black sweater. Um, I don't know if it's just this one or just black sweaters in general, but I feel like I look like a boy. Like, it, it's not very fitted here, which normally I enjoy. I do like the sleeve length, like it has a good length to the sleeves. And once again, it's just a very plain sweater. I, I don't know why I don't like this on me right now. It could be that it has to do with like these pants because these pants are like a straighter leg. Maybe if I go pair this with like a pair of skinny jeans, I'll feel differently, but this is not as heavy of a feeling sweater as when I was holding it up earlier. So between the two, this one and the mustard one, I thought for sure this one was going to be a heavier, warmer sweater than the other one, but it feels lighter for some, some reason. I don't know. All right, last I'm going to try on this one. I did mention I'm not going to try on the necklaces, but I will show them to you again. Then we'll just kind of wrap the video up. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to show you the top that I have on and the necklaces one more time. So this top was the Intimately by Free People Haley Racerback Tank in the color Olive, and it's $28. And I was right when I said it was going to be on the smaller side. So this is one of those instances where I'm caught between like a small and a medium. Like, I feel like if I put on a medium, it's going to be too loose, but this one is just too form-fitting for my preferences. It is very stretchy, and I'd probably wear it with, like, I just have a little tiny bralette on under this. Personally, if I bought it at home, I'd probably just wear it without a bra. But it's, it is quite cropped. I still have on those high-waisted pants from earlier, and it's just, it's on the tighter side. Like, around my neck, it feels tight. Here's what the back looks like. I just don't see myself wearing this. I don't see myself wearing it at home. I don't see myself wearing it to work out. It's just too tight. So that's that. And then I wanted to show you the necklaces just one more time. So they are more all of the, I guess my lighting looks like crap. There you go, it's more green. So those were the necklaces and these again were $40, but I'm going to pass on them. I'm not even going to try them out because I think it's going to be a hassle to put them back in the box. Um, I just get all my, my stuff from, from Ross box. So all in all, this box was actually kind of a bust. So I was excited for the jeans because I needed another pair of jeans, but I don't like how these jeans look on me. Um, they fit really well, like they're comfortable, but I just don't like how they look. This top is too tight. I don't need the orange sweater. Um, I have so many oversized sweaters. Um, I would like something that's slightly more form fitting, like a cashmere sweater or something like that. Um, so I just don't need the orange one or brown or whatever mustard color it is. And then the black sweater I was excited for, but I just didn't, I thought it made me look like a boy. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Chelsea did a really great job. She always does. All these pieces came in with good intent. They just look really bad. Um, so we'll try again another time. Like I said, if you guys want to try out Stitch Fix, I will put my referral link down below and you're welcome to try that out. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.